Man, I want to talk about the Kamala Harris interview last night for a split second. Now, yesterday I predicted a couple of things. I said, number one, that if Brent Baer did not seem to come across or did not come across hardcore with her, he would be destroyed. And I'm admit that I was wrong on something. You see, I thought the bar would have been raised. I didn't realize how much lower the standard had been lowered for Kamala. And I'll give you proof of it. So um, Brett Barr interviewed Donald Trump. This is Brett Barr having an interview with Donald Trump. Let's take a listen. Can we get the volume? Watch this. You look at everything that I won in 2020. You know that this, and if you look at all of the tapes, if you look at everything shows. that you want to look at, that this asked, was a very rigged Are election. you going to go, this is how you're going to tell that independent suburban no, woman no, voter no. We're, to vote We're for off you. to winning an election, and I think we're winning very well. All corrupt stuff, Brett. Understand about all, the Hunter Biden, well, no, but all that's fair things. Election. But, but that's cheating on the election. You lost the 2020 election. Uh, Brett, intelligence agents. There were recounts in all of the swing states. There was not significant right, widespread We're trying fraud. to get recounts. Real recounts, not just numbers of votes. Now, the point I want to make is I want you to realize how combative he is with Donald Trump a year ago. And everybody right now is giving Brett Barr credit. Like, yeah, Brett Barr kicked her butt. No, he was nowhere near as combative with this woman as he was with Donald Trump. And it's important that we all be honest about this. Now, of course, it would have been easier for someone to be combative with Kamala if they were a female because right now all over literal media they call it as sexism and he's sexist and misogynistic and all the rest of this which is what i was talking about yesterday as far as her being a tar baby i said if i was them i wouldn't interview her because there is no way that upon interviewing her you win and that's what i meant by you don't win at all by interviewing this woman because bro either way it goes she's going to play victim until when she loses she's a cry bully she's gonna she's gonna play victim so i think what i think everybody's excited about the fact that she crashed and burned but more importantly let's just be realistic let's listen to some more of how he handled donald trump widespread yes. corruption there was not a sense of that money gets offered to people and some people change but, there's but I will people say on this, that list that are not taking money that decided for, that well, they're not for the most part you. they are you know be please 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 could we have it back and they please, asked for because they have no we they were did talking ask for it. no and they said can you give the documents back and we were talking and then they said they went to doj to subpoena you to get them which back. they've never done before right and you know, why finished? not just hand them over then now you notice how he's talking over him Essentially, what happened in the interview with Kamala Harris was the roles were reversed. So she spoke over. Um, she spoke over Brett Bear, not allowing him to get words out. But you notice clearly here in this interview with Donald Trump, he is contending with Trump. So here's what I'm going to say about this. Everybody's saying Brett Bear did a wonderful job. No, Brett Bear didn't do nothing. She's just that damn terrible had brett bear came out full bore like he did against donald trump then you would have seen a completely different result now I understand why he didn't do it and I, and I think it's important that we all understand why he didn't do it he couldn't do it to a certain extent because they were going to cry uh racism misogynism sexism but the different the difference is they did it anyway they did it anyway. And this is the reason why you can't vote Democrat because they cannot be held accountable for anything because everybody's racist, everybody's sexist, everybody's a misogynistic person. So if I can't talk to you about the decisions you've made and the things that you've done without you crying that I'm racist, bro, at the end of the day, I don't need to be working with you in any way, shape or form. So I, it, it's amazing to me. And I understand why people want to see her fall. Um because she's the enemy and i understand it but you got to keep it real dog that man didn't do nothing impressive all he did was ask questions she contended with him she sucks he was nowhere as contentious with her as he was with donald trump and it's all over twitter so i'll give you some examples of it but people are claiming a victory like this is rigging. no she sucks bro it's not like this was a major victory this woman sucks and this is who you guys are trying to say we should have as president she just sucks watch this 
He's he unstable. unstable. He is unstable, Brett. Uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his... Damn it. Uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experienced to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe Biden, no Brett, concerns raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald Trump, Donald Trump but is. But you talked about it. And Donald Trump is. At this point in time, in the conversation with Donald Trump, he did not relent. But he relents for her and lets her keep talking and lets her keep talking. Now, the the natural follow up question would have been, hey, Kamala, if that's the case, then why is Joe not the nominee and why are you the nominee? George Clooney said and within a few minutes of talking to Donald President Biden Trump. at a fundraiser that he thought this Brett, was not the Brett. same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage Trump is on the ballot. I understand you met with him at least once a week for three and a half years. You didn't have any concerns. I think the American people have a Did y'all hear that beating in the background? That doom, doom. Watch this. Listen, listen closely. This is somebody beating out of frustration. Listen. You hear it? That's somebody like, what the? I think the American people have. And it happened. You see Brent Bear's eyes dart off to the direction of that sound. I have a concern about Donald Trump, which is why the people who know him best, including leaders of our national security community, have all spoken out, even people who worked for him in the Oval Office, worked with him in the Situation Room, and have said he is unfit and dangerous and should never be President of the United States again, including his former Vice President, which is why the job was open for him to... You see all this time he gave her to talk? This is what I was talking about. See all this time he gave her to filibuster? If we do a juxtaposition, go back to when Trump was trying to talk, if he stepped on every word he said on top of his neck every time, over and over again. So everybody's acting like Brett Baer is like this patriot that did his job. No, actually, he gave her a pass. She just sucks. That, don't believe me? Let's just do the juxtaposition. Let's go back. Let's just give a little bit. This is two minutes of him talking to Trump. Watch this. Let's just fast forward a little bit. Still the 1850 boxes. I had lots of paper. I had copies of newspaper articles. I had copies of magazines. I know. I this is specifically a quote. You're quoted and, on the recording know, and, saying the document was secret, adding that you could have declassified it while you were president. When I'm not president, I can't declassify it. That's what you said. You didn't I said declassify that. it. I said, no, no. I said I couldn't I could have but that declassified wasn't a document, it. Brett. And articles. I'm just saying what the indictment says. Well, they, the recording people, and the look, people in the room who these testified. These people are very dishonest people. They're thugs. These are thugs. These the suggestion was people. that you wanted this because. You see what I'm saying? So everybody's acting like Brent Bear's like this great guy. No, he's a rhino. It's just that she is that terrible. She's that damn terrible of a candidate. That damn terrible of a communicator. That's how bad she is. He didn't he didn't press her. Let's watch some more. Evidence that the military, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Milley. I never ordered it to happen, no. But no. that's why you wanted the document. I don't I don't think I've ever seen a document from Milley. Why do you want to hold on to those documents after you're president? I don't say I do. You just didn't we know what was in the box? With NARA that the president has every right to keep whatever he wants, and that includes me. And the question this is whether is not a criminal case. Let highly me classified government national. You see what I'm saying? And so all these people coming out, Brett Bear roasted a Brett Bear. No, he ain't do a damn thing. He ain't do a damn thing. She just sucks. It means that at the base level, she sucks. He didn't do nothing. He asked a few straightforward questions, filed up once or twice. He didn't do anything compared to what he did to Donald Trump. And I submit to you, Kamala Harris has never faced the level of scrutiny that Donald Trump has faced. Now, granted, 
She's only been on the campaign trail for what, almost 30 days, maybe 40, 40 days, but she's never faced the fire. And so what you're telling me is you expect people to vote for someone who has never faced the fire. They won't allow her to walk into the flames of the fire. And every time she gets anywhere near, uh, not even a flame of a fire, anytime somebody flicks a lighter, they're racist. They're misogynist and they're sexist. Like people got the game messed up, dog. Brent Bear ain't no damn hero. He ain't did nothing heroic. He actually gave her a pass. She just sucks that much. I mean, he 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 was nowhere near as confrontational with her as people have been with Trump. If she could come over to this side and get that real deal heat some real smoke i'm talking about that barbecue flame smoke i'm talking about some of that some of that springfield ohio cats cooking on a grill smoke you would see ten thousand times worse you probably see that woman start crying whip open her purse and have a drink live on tv and the simple fact that nobody wants to apply pressure lets me know that behind the scenes she can't take pressure and she shouldn't be president man yeah, she shouldn't be president, man. So all this, oh, Brent Bear did this. No, he didn't do a damn thing. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Everybody else celebrating. Kamala fell. To me, the Kamala is Kamala. This is what she's been. This is a consistent pattern with her. It truly is. This is not a break from the pattern. We ain't seen nothing new. We've seen her being protected. And anytime some smoke come, they go do the same thing. Oh, you know, they mistreated her. She's a black woman. She ain't black. All the rest of this, a woman of color and blah, blah, blah. Ain't nothing new popping, dog. The most revealing thing to me was that Brett Bear is still a rhino. That Brett Bear didn't truly come out bearing down on her. And that he allowed her to filibuster a lot of his interview. It would have been better if he just talked over her like he did Trump, especially if he had the 20 minutes he was like well you know i wanted to give people an opportunity to hear what you got to say after the first minute you know she ain't trying to tell people nothing now if he started trying to score points and hit her with real gotcha questions and like jigging her i'd have been more happy i just don't like the fact that he's getting rewarded for doing nothing man it's kind of like they playing everybody and everybody coming in agreement with being played so even either way it goes the deep state wins Oh, Brett Bear's, you know, his his later on, you, we will regret this with Brett Bear.